This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. The website is www.screensurgeons.com and today we're going to replace a cracked screen on an Acer Aspire 1 netbook. Um, this is one of the most popular netbooks out there. You can just find it at pretty much any store that sells computers. And if you crack the laptop screen on your Acer Aspire 1 netbook, don't feel bad. They're small, they're easy to take around, so it happens all the time. Uh, the good news is it's relatively simple to remove, replace the screen, and these screens are commonly available. So um, the tools that you'll need to do this is a small electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit and a smaller PH0 bit, an X-Acto knife blade with a sharp corner, and some small metal tweezers. So basically what has to be done is that this, this front plastic frame has to be removed and then we can get to the screen. So this frame is held in by two screws and then it snaps in and the screws are hiding behind some plastic covers. So first thing we're going to do is grab our razor blade, take the plastic covers off. One and two. Next we're going to try a pH one bit and remove one screw. Keep all your screws in one place. It will be easier to organize them if you do. Okay, so the screws are removed. The next part of the job is to take off this plastic frame, also known as the bezel and also known as the casing. What I like to do is go from the screen side and use my fingernails to gently pop it up. Take your time on this. Go gently, try not to break it. If you do, that's okay. It's happened to me also. Just go gently and it should snap off. Okay, the plastic frame is removed. So let's take a look at what we have here. The screen is held in by two screws on the sides to a metal frame. In this case, the screws are fairly easy to get to. There's one right here and one right here, and it's the same on the other side. So we switch to the PH0 screwdriver bit and just start taking out the screws. We have one, and we have the second one here. Let's try get it out with, yep, it comes out. If it didn't come out, you would use the tweezers to grab it out. Okay, and then we do the same thing on the other side. One. Okay, this one is a little bit tight, so we'll have to do something to get the bottom ones out. Top one shouldn't be too bad. Let's see if we can get a better angle. And it's screwed out. So I think what we need to do is the tweezers to grab the screw out like so. And let's see what we can do for the bottom one. Okay, so the bottom one is a little bit tighter. So we can do a couple things, try to pry it out or try to remove this screw right on top using a pH one bit so we can have better access. So once we remove that screw, 
the back part, the part behind the screen goes back and we can easily remove the screw. Okay, so the screen is free now. What we want to do is tilt it forward. And when we do, we notice that it's held back by the video cable. So, I mean, the webcam cable, it's glued on. So what we do is use our tweezers to gently, right here, to gently pop up the cable. It's glued on. And then we can put the screen down, like so. So it's an LED screen. So there's only one connector with some tape on there. We remove the tape on both sides. We're being careful not to damage the connector. These are kind of delicate, like so. And remove the yellow tape from the back some more. This one is taped relatively well, better than most laptops. But we'll take our time and then just move the connector out. It actually came out itself, but it's just you just use this motion to move it out. Okay, now we have the screen out. It's a standard 10.1 inch LED screen that's glossy. Sometimes they're glossy, sometimes they're matte. So if you go on eBay or anywhere else and just type in 10.1 inch LED screen, this compatible screen should pop up. Okay, for this particular screen, the part number is N101L6-L02. You can also type that number into search and the screen or compatible one will pop up. So uh, you order the screen and put it back in and your laptop should be as good as new. Okay, uh, thank you. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich and the website is www.screensurgeons.com.